If you're on a budget and you're looking for an excellent sound card, I don't think you can go too far wrong with the SRI2 by Fluid Audio. In this video I'd like to talk to you about why this is my go-to sound card and some of the reasons why I think this is an excellent choice. So over the years I've acquired quite a few sound cards here in my home studio and every one of them is individually excellent, but the SRI2 is the one that I always come back to. So before I go over some of the reasons why I think this is an excellent choice, let me show you some of the tech specs on the sound card itself. So on the front, you've got two inputs. These are XLR or TRS. So you can have your microphone or your line instrument going into one and two here. You've got on the back two outputs for monitors. So interestingly enough, for such a small unit, you can have two sets of speakers hooked up to this. You've got your USB power here. So you can hook this up to your iPad, which for someone like me is excellent because I use iPad a lot. So there's your iPad hookup. And you can also have an external power here. There's one headphone jack here with an excellent preamp and the actual body itself, the chassis is aluminium. So it feels strong. It feels like if it was to accidentally fall off my desk, it would probably survive. All the knobs, all the sort of buttons, they all feel tight and overall it feels really well made. In this studio, I have two of these. I have one set up on my iPad desk behind me so I can use my keyboards via my iPad. And then I've got another one set up here on my main console where I do all my monitoring and all my mixing. So let's go over some of the reasons why I think this is an excellent choice. First and foremost, the most important thing, and that's the audio conversion. Now, in the past, when I've thought of converters, I've always thought to myself, how can converters be different? Aren't we dealing in the digital realm? Shouldn't they all be the same? Well, actually, they're not. For example, on this one, this is a Steinberg, and it's an excellent sound card, but the converters sound darker. They just do. I've tried them on different speakers, different microphones, different computers. They just generally sound darker. The converters on the Fluid Audio, to my ears, sound very clean and very pristine. So moving on to reason number two, and this is a really big selling point for me, and that's the volume knob. This is, in my mind, one of the best volume knobs I've ever worked with. And for someone like me, this is really important. I have problems with my ears, so I have to really be careful to control the volume at all times. So I need very quick and easy access to the volume, just in case something gets too loud. I feel really comfortable having to get just here, setups really close, and it's so smooth and so easily accessible and so strong, and it just feels great. And I can really dial in the volume that I want to work with. Another good thing about the unit is the preamps. The preamps are very clean, very pristine. They sound good, so if you want to go straight into the unit with your microphone and go into your door, it sounds great. But another good thing about these preamps is that if you want to bypass them, you can bypass them cleanly. Now this is a big thing because I've got a couple of pieces of outboard equipment that I like to use when I'm recording vocals, for example, and I can use the outboard equipment, go into the sound card, use the converters, and then go into my, into my door, and I get a clean signal. This isn't always the case. For example, this is an Arrow by Universal Audio. Now you can bypass the preamps, but you still get a 10 dB gain. I've looked on the forums and apparently you just can't bypass that 10 dB gain, and I could hear it. You might think, well, why don't you just turn down the sort of volume on your preamp? But I could hear that 10 dB gain, and it caused a lot of problems when I was recording my last album. So that's why I again came back to the SRI2, because I just got a clean signal going in, and that's what I wanted. So I'd like to try something. I'd like to try and get you to listen to the preamps and the converters on the sound card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a microphone and go from the microphone straight into the preamp of the sound card and then straight into my door. I'm not going to EQ it. I'm going to leave it as is. So just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. So this is the Fluid Audio Access microphone going into the SRI2 using the preamps from the sound card. No EQ, going straight into the door. Every night I'm waking up in a sweat Visions of ghosts are running around in my head I try to escape but I don't know where to run I've got to do something I hear a voice and I don't know who it is It's telling me things I don't want to believe I've got to do something I've got to do something oh, 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 Eva. So there you have it and when you put it all together, and the fact that this is a sound card that retails for just over $200, I think the SRI2 by Fluid Audio is an excellent choice for any studio. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful. And thanks for watching.